Okay, I'm now giving an update as um, to the re latest TikTok drama. I went on a live um, on a live forum with like seven other people to try and explain why Ikwa needs to be protected, and I used my own tribe, um, the Taino tribe, as a prime example as to what happens when people when culture erasure and assimilation takes place among an indig indigenous tribe of, of the Western Hemisphere. And I pointed out how my people are so far down the totem pole, are so far gone, and so far assimilated and brainwashed in mo into modern society that they completely forgot who they are. In fact, 90% of the Tainos in Amer North America to, who live in North America today don't even know that they're Taino. They, um, they slap on the, um, the, the cultural label that's, um, that's um, placed upon them, and they accept it. And I also pointed out a prime example as to how when I mean, you have certain people who are of Taino descent, who um who are entertainers, they go above and beyond. And meanwhile, they um, they, they sit there and they pimp themselves out, and they and they, and I pretty they completely forgot about where they came from, living under the under the illusion that they're not that they're not expendable when they are. Fact of the matter is, most people, most entertainers, their lives mean nothing to the. To the powers that be, most entertainers out there, who are whether it be actor, musician, comedian, whatever it may be, they're 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 extremely expendable to the higher ups. The higher ups care nothing for them, and they care nothing about their actual the quality of their life at all. The only time the quality of their life matters is if they can make them money. That's all it is. It's it's about money, and and their lives don't mean jack shit. Which means they have no conscience and no, about as to the exploitation that that goes on on a mass on a massive scale. So when I see someone of my own tribe willingly putting themselves out there to be exploited, I'm actually angry and disgusted and um and annoyed by that. But also one of the things I, I also have to look at is. For the many, many non-famous Taino out there who look similar to the uh, to the entertainers on television, or um, to the females on um, who look similar to the females on television, who have to walk around in fear because every non-indigenous person. Now, I'm not trying to label all ca Caucasian people, but it's safe to say that the majority of of white men out there. Live in such a, we live in such a sexualized culture that um, that, that ninety percent of the time, most men who are pigs and creeps out there have no self control at all. Now among our people, it's just um, we are we are who we are. But at the same time, we um, and we, we have a natural sense of self control. But you have a you have people of a different culture, a different race, a different background, a different way of being. They're um they're I mean, meanwhile they come from a they come from a repressed culture which means they them they themselves have a hard time that have a hard time controlling themselves no matter what. Fact of the matter is we live among people who are repressed and who um who do not care them not to carry themselves at all. So which means you have you you have the handful of, a handful of people who are among my own tribe doing doing a lot of stupid things and not really considering that their actions are hurting people in the long run. I had to sit there and explain to my daughter who saw them, saw them, saw these two videos. She said, Dad, why are they doing that? Don't they, doesn't it, doesn't, doesn't that lady understand the damage that she's causing in other people's lives? And I said, sweetheart, I don't know. She said, and it's, it's, it's sick and disgusting and wrong. I'm like, I agree with you. It is sick. How she arrogantly put herself out there like that and didn't consider that there are there are other people out there who will suffer as a direct result of what, um, of her actions. And then that, that was that was the sad part. I mean, in all my years doing undoing um, doing activism, I never want I never have I never I always I always knew that people among um, my fellow Tainos would be I mean. Ignorant and not really, and not really understanding the the depth and and the and the, the vast gravity of things going on around, going on around us, but I never imagined that the that the, the level of arrogance and the um, deluded sense of self entitlement would be so so rampant as it is, or how the only time that um, that my people can can come together and actually unite and be on the same page is when they're attacking somebody for challenging. Them being comfortable with um, with, um, with having with having no progress. Fact of the matter is, is in all my years doing this, also I have yet to see another Taino stand, stand beside me and say, "Hey, let's roll up our sleeves and get some results." 
Let's help out a pine ridge. Let's help out a rosebud. Let's help help out at the border reservations along Canada and Mexico and try and stop human trafficking. Let's make an honest attempt to undo the 500 hundred years of cultural assimilation and actually teach our people that this is wrong. We don't have to sit there and pimp ourselves out on TV or fight in the, in the military for oil profit. I've yet to see anybody stand, um, stand beside me and say, hmm, look at what we are and look at what we're not supposed to be. I've yet to see that. And the part that's very frustrating is that I've been fighting that, that battle by myself. I've yet to see anybody step up to the plate and say, you know what, you got a valid point there. So this time it went from 10 to 12 people to 30 people attacking me on TikTok. All because they, um, all because I attacked their sense of self-entitlement. All because I sat there and challenged cultural assimilation. And I'm unfortunately, when you're speaking the, uh, the ugly bones, honest truth to people, they don't want to hear it. Fact of the matter is, is you know, every time I've interacted with other, other, other tribes like the Lakota, the Navajo, the Cheyenne, the Ojibwe, the Chumash, I can go on all day. The majority of them don't have any respect for, for people from my tribe at all. And I don't blame them. And I know exactly why. Because they haven't seen, they have not seen jack shit from anybody who is among my tribe at all. They haven't, I mean, with all the Tainos in North America today, I have yet to see um, a thousand or more people of my tribe show up to a reservation that's living below the poverty line and to say, hey, how can we help? You don't see that. Not, not at all. When I was sitting there dealing with that Lakota woman who shot herself on Skype in front of me, I had to do that by myself. Nobody's there to help me. I've yet to see another Taino sit there and step up to the plate and help try and coordinate a counteroffensive to, um, to, um, to, in, um, to retrieving a 12-year-old Navajo girl who got kidnapped by human traffickers. Let's see, dozens of, of suicidal natives on different reservations talking them down from that. Let's see, I've yet to, I have yet to see that. Nobody's ever stepped up to the plate to show up to, in my own neck of the woods to protest the Indian Point nuclear power plant. Nobody stepped up to the plate to come to the town I live in where, um, where, the, where cultural appropriation and cultural assimilation is rampant on a massive scale. I've yet to see anybody step up to the plate to come from my tribe to come forward and say, hey, let's get some results. I've been doing this by myself for a long time. So for a bunch of jackasses on TikTok to go, um, go out of the way and tell me what I can and cannot do, I'm sorry. That's just, that, that's just not happening. Because I've yet to see any of those people step up to the plate, come forward and say, hey, let's get some results.
Fact of the matter is, I'm sorry everything went down the way it did. I was forced to publicly apologize when I wasn't even in the wrong. And on top of that, I didn't I pretty much... I didn't publicly bash these women, these women at all. Oh, no, I'm saying something now because the attacks are not stopping. Everything is not stopping. Now, in my next video, I'm going to be pointing out some, uh, doing a five-part video and um, in a long speech I gave on TikTok, kind of setting the, the, setting the record straight on, um, on a lot of different things. But the reality is these women um, do, do, um, did this and did not even consider that what they were doing was actually they're causing more damage than, um, than, um, than good. And as I said, now their actions are displayed all over YouTube for everybody to see. I'm sorry everything went down the way it did. I'm sorry that this had to happen. And I hope that one day anybody who is Taino learns from this that, you know what, guess what? Everything bad you do has a negative um, impact on not just our tribe, but all the other tribes as well. In the meantime, han han katu, which means I have spoken. And Taino Ti, which means many blessings.